know that all of us know we're in a crucial moment in America, a crucial moment in Pittsburgh, Allegheny County, and Pennsylvania. And many people feel this is indeed one of the most crucial elections in our history. And we say this midterm election is the most important in the lives of any of us living in Pennsylvania. And we don't mean that rhetorically. So the Black Political Empowerment Project is partnering with a number of organizations, and we are looking to see, we've been in several meetings, many hours, of how we can improve what we do to impact the election and make sure African Americans vote in each and every election. Black and brown people, young people, people with disabilities, the LGBTQI community, that we are in the polling place on November 8th. So we welcome you to this press conference. Our community organizer, Roy Blankenship Jr., is going to share with you one of our new initiatives to help market the campaign to a new audience that we have not been involved in as much as we should, but we're planning to change that with this new effort. Um, yes, we, um, BPEP has um, created a voter engagement TikTok, which we are hoping to engage most of our younger voters and even some of the younger kids of our, our region. We want to get them engaged with this process. As we all know, this is a very important time for us all in this election cycle. And, and now is a great time to get them engaged. So with our contest, it'll, be, it'll engage us doing a series of little skits um, on TikTok. Most of the youth and young adults, they know how to do this. Uh, there is a monetary prize. Registration will still be going out through the month of October, so please look up our website for information for it. Um, and God bless. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching, and you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. The neat news is that we've had 53,120 people between August 1st and today who are viewing our new social media to alert people as to the importance of this election. So we're all excited about that. We had a staff call just minutes ago, and we're going to expand that whole effort using social media at a level we've never done before to make sure every human being in this area as possible knows about the November 8th election and the importance thereof. For many years, the Black Political Empowerment Project, VPAP, have partnered with the League of Women Voters of Greater Pittsburgh, and our partnership has been strengthened in recent years, and we're very proud to have Judy Clack with us today, and she'll explain herself, and Terry Griffin, former state president, and they'll introduce a new initiative that um, they have created, and VPEP has been a strong partner, but it's primarily an effort of the League of Women Voters in partnership with the Black Political Empowerment Project, Operation Better Block, and others. But they're gonna share with us this new initiative for those who are currently in prison in our jails and prisons in the area and a future project as well. There's something that gets me excited about BPEP. It's more than Tim Stevens. <laughs> no, no. It's the mission, the seriousness, the dedication, the intentionality. What Tim said is a fact. This is a crucial, crucial, crucial election coming up. The mission of the League of Women Voters is to defend democracy and empower our voters. Amen. That's what we intend to do. We're going to work diligently. We're going to work with BPEP, other organizations. We're excited to be a, a part of this new project. 
for returning citizens, those who are incarcerated, they need to know that they can vote. They have a right to vote. They have served some time, some are out, some are still in, but they deserve to vote. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna be very strong against those who suggest that they don't have the right. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be very articulate, very outspoken. Mm -hmm. I like to say a little radical, even though people don't mm -hmm. think the League of Women Voters is radical, but I'm here to say it's New Day. But I'm also here with Judy Clack, and I'm excited <laughs> because um, one of the things that the League of Women Voters has as a part of its infrastructure is voter services. Um, Judy is our Vice President of Voter Services for the League of Women Voters, which is the Greater Pittsburgh uh, chapter, and it's the largest in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, vote, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to say any more because I think Judy can testify to what we do, what we do well, what we're going to do better, and how we're going to collaborate broader mm -hmm. and more in a more significant way. Judy Clack. Yes. Yes. Clack, clack, clack. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank, thank the media for being here. This is very reassuring. Um, a brand new project came to us here. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching and you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. We're in Pittsburgh with BPEP and a bunch of collaborating sponsors, all nonpartisan, to reach out to those in prison and those, especially those returning citizens who are those who were formerly incarcerated and do not realize that they have the right to vote. As Tim says, if your feet hit the street, you can register and you can vote. Mm. And this is something that the League of Women Voters has been involved in for decades, but we are just really getting on it in the Pittsburgh area. One thing we have done is we are creating two videos with the help of PCTV. Um, one for those who are currently incarcerated and the other for those who are returning citizens. Um, you can see the text of both of these projects and the video and one of the videos by going to our website. Um, you go to lwvpgh.org. LWV for League of Women Voters, PGH for Pittsburgh.org. Click on Voter Resource Library, Voter Resource Library, Pick the link for videos and on that you will see the video that was created with the help of our collaborating sponsors for those who are currently incarcerated and the one for those returning citizens will be available in about a week. But you can see the whole text and the slide deck for both of those. We want to do a big outreach not just in Allegheny County but throughout the state. Um, the and we want to go to city jail. We want to stand outside and say, we want our people to register to vote. Now that's a radical thing, because somebody said, are we really going to stand outside the jail? <laughs> we are, are we, Judy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said, Tim. That's, that's what she said at a board I said that at our board meeting together. today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the state of Pennsylvania, everyone who has been charged with a crime except for those who are currently incarcerated for a felony, can register and can vote. I'm gonna say that again. Every person who is who is who has been in prison or com has committed a crime and been found guilty of a misdemeanor or felony, if they are out, they have served their time and the state of Pennsylvania says they can register and they can vote. And the only exception are those who are still currently incarcerated with a felony or those who are out and they were convicted for a felony for election fraud. Mm -hmm. They have to wait an extra four mm -hmm. years. Um, but folks don't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a league member who's a person who mowed her lawn for years. 
Um, he said he wasn't registered because he was guilty of a misdemeanor. Mm. She went inside, got a voter registration form, and signed him up right there. Mm. All right. That person can register and can vote. Right. He was happy. So we are also involved in 25 different voter registration drives, <laughs> and we have one candidate form coming up, the 17th Congressional District Forum. Uh, will be a debate on uh, WTAE on Tuesday, November 1st. And I'll turn the program back to Tim. Tim, before you, I, I have a comment, and it's, it's regarding returning citizens. Mm -hmm. And there are times in our community where we are anxious to invite, to welcome mm -hmm. persons who have been incarcerated mm -hmm. back into our communities. They have served the time they paid the price. They must be given the right to vote. It is our right, not a privilege. So I'm, I'm speaking to families now. That's right. I'm looking right at you at your dinner table. We all know somebody who's been incarcerated. And we all know somebody who doesn't <coughs> believe that they can vote. Mm -hmm. They need to understand they can vote. Call BPEP. Call the League of Women Voters. Get the information. Knowledge is power. Yes. Always has been and always okay. will be. So we want to see you registered. We want to see you vote. We are all nonpartisan here. But check this out. There will be a change in this election. Yes. Thank all you right. so much. Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> we're Blankenship Jr. And we want to also mention that this is, uh, as I said, a partnership led by the League of Women Voters. And we've had several hours of meetings, have we not, Judy, going over this document line by line. So it'll be going up on the BPEP website, b-pep.net, b-pep.net. And as Judy mentioned and uh, Ms. Griffin, the second video will be done within about a week. It's already done, it's just being re-recorded. And one of the, the neat thing is Richard Garland uh, did the voiceovers for the first video of those currently incarcerated. And because he had his own history and he wanted to do this because a lot of people just don't know that they still have rights even though mm -hmm. when those rights were possibly mm -hmm. taken away. But you want to share something? Yeah. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching. And you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. Um, Briefly, I want to give a short story. Um, and this is for all of my, my brothers and sisters in the region. Um, I know many of you and I grew up all around this city and made it all around, whether it was good or bad. Um, I was one of those people that did that time, did the crime, you know, served it, got out, decided to change my life and work for better. But I will tell you, I registered to vote um, right. I vote in each and every election, right. and now I'm a committee man in my neighborhood. All right, all right. I mean, this is something I'm doing. Process work. All right. Look at that. Now, that's wonderful. That's, that's, that's good news. That's, that's a yeah. great story. It is. And uh, this sign, we vote in each and every election. African Americans vote in each and every election. We mean that, and we mean for everybody to have the opportunity to do so. So, BPAP.net. Legal Women Voters, what's your site again? LWVPGH.org. Legal Women Voters of Greater Pittsburgh. Thank you very All much. All right. Lorraine <laughs> Cross, who has been phenomenal with us since I met her in, I think it was 2004. Yeah. And she's still speaking to me. <laughs> she is our civic engagement coordinator, extremely committed. And we work very, very closely together. And she's going to share with you what we're about to do next week. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to unveil our bus signage for this campaign that just started yesterday. Okay. Right. okay. It's on the ground. <laughs> so, listen, I'm really excited. And as you can hear, everyone is. But we are going to have a fantastic day on 
uh, September the 20th, which is National Voter Registration Day. And that's the day where all organizations around the nation are going to be hitting the streets, doing different canvassings, trainings, and um, fighting for our democracy. So mm -hmm. on the 20th, we are going to be up here at 20, 2201 Wiley Avenue, and we'll be in the lot across the street. We're going to have live music. We're going to have DJs. We're going to have food. We're going to have resources. We're working with a lot of different agencies, and um, we're going to have a fantastic time. So we need you all to come out to be a part of um, our event. And like I said, it's going to be a great time to to learn how to um, get excited again about voting, mm -hmm. get excited about saving our democracy. Mm -hmm. This is what we're here to do. So National Voter Registration Day, September the 20th, from 12 to 8, 2201 Wiley Avenue. Come out, join in with us. We're going to have uh, uh, the John uh, Lewis Transformation and um, Pittsburgh Higher Ground. We're going to have the Hill CDC, the Herbal League, Carnegie Science Center, Franz Foxy Food, a DJ. It's going to be a great party. So I'm excited and I want everybody else to get excited about it. Bring your kids because we're going to also have the carnival and the science truck and um, a lot of good things going on. So we we're trying to make this an important day. So I hope that you come out and join in with us to make this a really uh, a celebrated moment. Mm -hmm. All right. Ray Cross. Always. Yes. Engagement. Yes. And, and next, uh, that'll be all day, but at 5.30, we'll have a press conference to officially unveil our new yard signs. Do not take pictures of them tonight. They all should be upside down. But <laughs> next week, we're going to have uh, Walt Hales, who has put in months of time on a new initiative for churches and hairstylists mm -hmm. of getting the churches and hairstylists more involved in the voter registration effort and a voter turnout effort. Uh, she'll be officially, again, unveiling this is National Voter Registration Day. And uh, our campaign for power will be reinitiated mm -hmm. next week. So we'll That's talk cool. about that. We'll have many of our partners in that particular press conference. Now, what we have to unveil now is very special Beginning yesterday, we have for two months 20 buses coming out of the East Liberty Station, which will have this on the side of it. And uh, this is extremely important, our message that we vote in each and every election. And you see, the big line here is this is the most important midterm election of our life. And we're not saying that rhetorically. We mean this. A lot of people think they should only vote in a presidential election. E. Richard Phipps, who was an active member of BCUP for many years, he always got upset when people talked about off-year elections. His theory is, and we agree, there are no off-year elections. Every year should be an on-year, even if it's not the President of the United States being elected. Because often those local positions may impact your life on a daily basis more than maybe the national president. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel is 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching and you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. In the presidency. In this election, we have a very stark difference between those running for the U.S. Senate on the various parties. We have a stark difference those running for the gubernatorial position in Congress. So people make their decisions, but they need to know whatever that decision is that the collective public of Pennsylvania does will impact us for many years to come. Yes. And we need to act that way, mm -hmm. that this is the most important midterm election of our lifetime. These buses, these signs have already begun. This week they will run for two full months every day. And we hope people will see the message, take the message, make sure they're registered by October 24th, make sure by November 1st that their mail-in ballot goes in. And any issues they have, you can call BPEP at bpep.net, 
v-pep.net or call our 412-212-8775 number, 212-8775 number, and we will get you whatever information you need. Vote.pa.gov <laughs> will get you all the information uh, regardless of where you're from in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And we hope you'll use that and go from there. So we want to thank you all for being with us tonight. We hope mm -hmm. to see you next Tuesday between 12 and 8, press conference at 5.30 to announce the, the other new initiatives that others will be sharing with you. And again, African Americans voted each and every election. We encourage all people to vote in each and every election. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want to say is, imagine the difference we could make in this country if all black folks voted in each and every election, if all brown people voted in each and every election, those with disabilities, our mm -hmm. young people voted mm -hmm. in each and every election, the LGBTQI community everyone. voted in each and every election. We have an election now where key issues are being decided, mm -hmm. where women in this country are being prevented from making decisions about what they're going to do with their bodies across mm -hmm. this nation. You can either agree with that or disagree. Whatever your decision is, you will help decide how this commonwealth operates on those key issues. Mm -hmm. We're talking about people and the Supreme Court considering maybe eliminating the right for LGBTQI community to, vote, to, to marry. We're talking about even limiting uh, other rights that we thought we had. We already, interracial marriage, marriage could be the next yeah. stand off. And back in 1965, when the Voting Rights Act was passed, we thought, we some of, some of us had the nerve to think that was permanent. We made it. <laughs> and it's been disrupted yes. twice. It's been weakened. So those of us who are voters, if we believe in human rights and voting rights for all people, we need to be in the polling place to make a statement. That's, That's what we're about. Election integrity is critical. Big, big, big. And there are those who are saying they will not vote because they feel disenfranchised. Since number 45 was in the office, the League of Women Voters have worked diligently to litigate those entities that attempted to disenfranchise Pennsylvanians. We will continue to do that. We are committed to do that because everyone has a right to vote. So recognize that it is serious there may be people deployed, hear what I'm saying, there may be people deployed to disrupt mm -hmm. our voting. Do not let that bother you. Keep focused mm -hmm. until you sign on the dotted line because it's your right. And let's clarify what that means. Mm -hmm. Thank Regardless you. of whomever or whoever is in office and in power, Regardless of party, if they're doing the wrong thing, we have to call them on it. Mm -hmm. The wrong thing is preventing people from registering. The wrong thing is preventing people from voting. The wrong thing is intimidating people and making them feel like if they go to the polling place, they may be attacked or they may be intimidated physically because of the presence. We have to eliminate this stuff. We cannot allow this country to be turned into some other country that we don't even recognize. That's it. This is the United States of America. United. Where every United. party and every individual, regardless of your political orientation, yes. you should have a commitment to every person being able to vote. That's right. And not being inhibited in any way That's right. to have that opportunity to vote. That's right. And anyone who does it is un-American. Mm, say it. Well, I'll be very it. direct Does about it. Lorraine say, say it. something about election protection? That's Absolutely. That's coming up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's coming up. I was up. asked getting we'll, at. We'll, we'll yeah. say it again. That's right. Next week, come yes. that, when they, yeah. election, election protection. protection. So that to protect something people that we who are all being just intimidated. Intimidated. <laughs> I can see my shirt. Election protection. BPEP does election protection each and every election where we have poll monitors go out to polling locations, over 250 polling locations mm -hmm. in Allegheny County to ensure that there's no voter suppression going mm -hmm. on, that there's no voter intimidation mm -hmm. going on, that the polls are opened in a timely manner and they close on time. And if you're in line at eight o'clock, you get to vote. 
even if the line is long and around the corner, you have that right to vote. Yes. So we will be doing uh, poll monitoring for election protection. You have the right to vote. Yes. And the number to call if you want to volunteer with yes. BPEP and our initiatives, 412-212-8775, 412-212-8775, to do whatever you want to do to help us in our efforts to register people to vote, election protection, yes. canvassing, phone banking, whatever. Thank you very much. One thing, uh, yes, remember, Javon. our vote, our voice, our democracy, because it's our right. The John Lewis Coalition Transforming Justice has been boots on the ground for a long time. That's right. And the boots are not done. we got to strap up, lace up, and roll, because it matters. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more videos on subjects like this and many other topics. Please leave any comments in the, in the comment section. Any questions or comments, I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.